Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make rotisserie chicken noodle soup. Now this is made out of a store-bought rotisserie chicken, which makes it so easy, but it is absolutely delicious. It's comforting and we're right in the middle of the winter season and a nice chicken soup is a great, great meal. So join me as we make rotisserie chicken noodle soup. So what I have here is a rotisserie chicken that I got from our local club store. Um, this makes it so easy because the chicken's already cooked and it's really, really flavorful. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our chicken out here and we're just gonna go ahead and cut this baby up. Um, there's obviously some pieces we'll use and some pieces we may not use. Ah! <laughs> um, let's take the legs off. And we'll take this leg off. Eric likes to eat the legs. <laughs> um, the wings, Eric will gnaw on those. I'm just gonna put them over here because there's not a lot going on on them. So I'm gonna take the skin off of the breast and this is mainly what we want here. You can either chop this or you can shred it, whatever your preference is. I might do a little both. Um, some people like their chicken chopped in there and some like it shredded. So I think I'm just gonna, with this, I'm just gonna give us some good little chunks for our soup. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this bowl. And I'm gonna take this other breast off. I'm just gonna cut the whole thing off is one piece and these things are so tender um, they just sometimes you can just grab it and they'll come off so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this off of there and then we'll chop our vegetables so we're gonna cut up the vegetables and what I have here are some baby carrots you can use just regular carrots um, I use these because we get them from our club store. They're organic, they're already peeled. And we just wanna, you can cut them into as big a chunk as you want. Um, I'm just gonna cut them in like bite-sized pieces. And you want about two cups of carrot. So we got two cups of carrots and now we're gonna chop some celery. I have a bunch because my celery was a little puny. Um, <laughs> but we're just gonna cut, you can do four stalks of celery. I think I have five here, just because mine were small. So next up we need a little onion. And this is like kind of a medium onion. For some reason I went to the store, all the onions were like big old monsters. So I found one that was kind of medium. <laughs> All depends on how much onion flavor you like. I absolutely love onion. So the more the merrier in my book. So we're just gonna give this a quick dice. We're also going to get us a little fresh thyme and thyme really adds just great flavor to your soup. Um, what I do is I just like skin the leaves off the branches. I don't really want these, you know, twiggy branches in there. And then we're going to go ahead and chop it. You want about one tablespoon of fresh thyme. So I think I have about a tablespoon worth and I'm just going to give it a chop. Okay. 
If you can possibly use fresh thyme, you can use dried, but there's nothing like fresh herbs. Okay, so what I have is my induction burner. I have a stock pot here. This is a um, Lagostina. It is fully clad. You can use any kind of stock pot. You can use a Dutch oven. You can cook this in an instant pot. You can do it in a multi-cooker. You can even put it in a slow cooker if you really wanted to. But um, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. We're going to go ahead and put some the onion in there. Woo! And you don't have to saute um, your vegetables. I really like mine sauteed just because I think it brings out a little flavor. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that, but we want to have it as yummy as possible, right? So I just soften these a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put our carrot in. And usually you put the onion in first, and then you put the hardest vegetables in in order. So obviously the carrot is a lot harder than the celery, so we put that in there. Mmm, smells really good. So we're going to go ahead and put our celery in. So now we're just going to put in our fresh thyme. And the reasons I'm just putting in here is we just want to bloom it a little bit. If we stir it in, it's going to give off some of its flavor um, if we stir fry it a little bit. Okay, so the vegetables are looking good. So we're going to put in eight cups of chicken broth. This um, we make from Better Than Bouillon, but you can use any of your favorite chicken broth. Another four. So we're just going to bring this to a boil. We're going to cook it just for a little bit, um, maybe five minutes or so, and then we'll put the chicken in. So our soup is heating up really nice. It smells really good. We're going to go ahead and put our rotisserie chicken in here. So this came out to about three cups of chicken. So depending on how big your chicken is, um, you can adjust it. We're also going to give it, I'm going to give it some grinds of pepper. You don't have to do this. Um, I just like it. It gives it a little bit more flavor. I think maybe it would be a little bland without it. Um, I'm going to give it a little tiny bit of granulated garlic. And you'll have to adjust the salt to your taste. Um, we did use a low sodium chicken broth, um, but we'll be testing it along the way. So we're going to bring this up to a boil and we're going to put in the noodles. So our soup is boiling, so we're going to go ahead and put in our egg noodles. This is a 12 ounce package of extra wide egg noodles. Not sure exactly why these don't come in one pound <laughs> packages anymore, but we got 12 ounces. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to put half or a little over half, maybe eight ounces of that in there. And we're going to let this boil and these noodles are going to cook and we're going to pretty much cook them till they're done. So we have this cooking about eight or ten minutes and we put a lid on it so we didn't lose all the liquid in evaporation. So I adjusted the seasoning, I put a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper and um, it smells fantastic. So let's get a bowl and plate it up. Now it's time to serve us a little bowl. It smells so good. Ooh. You can take as much or as little broth as you want. I want quite a bit of broth. It's cold outside and I'm ready for some soup. So let's take a taste. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like chicken and thyme and it just, I can't wait to dig into this. So I got a couple of crackers to go on the side here. I don't know why I always like dipping crackers into my chicken noodle soup. Mmm. 
So we got some chicken. We got some noodles. We got a little broth here. It's a little warm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is really, really good. It sure beats getting chicken noodle soup out of the can, that's for sure. Mm. It's comforting. Perfect. It's cold outside. It's actually a very perfect lunch or dinner. Mm. I could see pairing this with a nice grilled cheese sandwich. In my case, just a grilled turkey sandwich because I can't have the cheese. But you're going to love it. If you like this video, please subscribe below and give me a comment and a like. And visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook.